different topic, the science project of the century, a biologist making a synthetic living cell using human DNA. What the heck is that? Can we make another John Scott? We're going to answer that question I next. hope not. She blinded me with science. Well, now to a major scientific breakthrough, building life from scratch. A biologist here in the U.S. claims to have created the first man-made cell. He and his team of researchers built this synthetic cell from human DNA inside their lab. And the benefits really could be limitless, but then there's all these questions, you know, about ethics and moral issues as well. Uh, Michio Kaku is a theoretical physics, uh, physics professor and author of the book Physics of the Impossible. So is this really a big deal? Why, why is it such a big deal? This is the proverbial game changer. It's really? like splitting the atom back in the 30s. In 10 years, splitting the atom changed the political, economic, theological landscape. This is potentially on that scale. So we're creating artificial life? In some sense, yes. If you take a look at a cell, think of it as a cell phone. We download apps onto the cell phone all the time. So this time we took a cell from a goat and actually downloaded new DNA that we programmed. We even so pro a cell from a goat then with human DNA? Well, different kinds of, of junk DNA was put in. <laughs> uh, even uh, James Joyce, quotations from James Joyce, biography of uh, J. Robert Oppenheimer, all sorts of stuff was put in. The, the point was that it was artificial. Got it. And that's why this this is so novel. So what can we do with an artificial cell? What could be some of the benefits? We can tailor make it to do certain things like eat oil slicks. No kidding. Exxon is very much interested in commercializing this technology. Already there are negotiations with talks. Also, global warming. You could create bacteria that are specifically designed to eat up carbon dioxide. Well, this story reminds me of Jurassic Park when all the dinosaurs got out and ran amok. I mean, there can be some unintended consequences That's too, right? That's right. You cannot recall a life form. You can recall a bad Toyota or General Motors car. You cannot yeah. recall a life form. And also, killer bees. They were introduced in Brazil in the 1950s. Some queen bees escaped by accident and these bees have now pushed out the honeybee out of most of and, Latin America. And they were tinkered with. Uh, no, they weren't tinkered with, but they were came from Africa, deliberately introduced from Africa to Brazil I to see. see whether we could get a better hybrid mix, but it was out of control. And now they're penetrating to California, uh, Texas, and So Arizona. an example of unintended consequences. Real quick, as a physicist, a physicist mm -hmm. do you give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down, this discovery? I think it's this way, but yeah, it's between <laughs> here and here. <laughs> All right, we'll see what happens. Just the beginning now, so I guess a lot of things could happen moving forward. Thank you very much. Appreciate you coming in. And, uh, John, back up to you.